Hi there. Now for this question, we're given that a lorry is moving along a straight horizontal road with constant acceleration. The lorry passes a point A with speed of U meters per second, where U is less than 34. And 10 seconds later, passes a point B with a speed of 34 meters per second. Given that AB is 240 meters, first of all, we've got to find the value of U for three marks. And then in the part B, the time taken for the lorry to move from A to the midpoint of AB for six marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll give you the numerical solution and also my work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, the answers then to parts A and B are that in part A, U equals 14, and in part B, the time taken is six seconds. So if you'd like to see how I went about these parts, I'll take you through the work solution then. So first of all, what I'd want to do, not that you have to, but uh, I just like to have a sketch. OK, so I'm just going to draw my straight horizontal road here. And the lorry is going from A to B, a distance of 240 meters. Let's just put the lorry here, represent it as a block. OK, and it starts at A, moving across at U meters per second. And at B, it's moving at 34 meters per second. And the time at B is 10 seconds. So I'll do something like that. Now, it's accelerating at a constant rate. So we'll just put that acceleration in here as a meters per second per second. And if it's accelerating at a constant rate, then we can basically use our equations for constant acceleration to work this out, often called them the SUVAT based equations. So for part A, then we need to set up a positive sense. And I'm going to take that positive sense to the right. And so that means if I list out my variables, S for displacement, U for the initial velocity, V for the final velocity, A for the acceleration, and T for the time taken. Now, we know the displacement from A to B. In the positive sense, it's 240 meters. So I'll just write 240 there. U. Well, that's the initial velocity. We're trying to find it. V, the final velocity, that's 34. And the acceleration, we don't know that. And the time taken to get from A to B is 10 seconds. So I'll put that in as 10. So we need to find out U. And I can leave out A in this if I use the equations. Let's just say using... Well, I could use displacement S is equal to U plus V divided by 2 times the time taken. So if we substitute our values in, we therefore have for S 240 then equals U, which we're trying to find, plus V, which is 34, divide that by 2 and multiply it by the time of 10 seconds. And I can see that I could cancel the 2 into the 10. It goes 5 times. And that means then that therefore we've got 240. And if I expand the bracket, we've got u times 5, which is 5u. And 34 times 5 is 170. And so if I take away 170 from both sides, that's going to leave me with 5u equals 240, take away 170, which is 70. Divide both sides now by 5, and u equals 70 divided by 5, which is 14. OK, so there's the value of u. So for part b now, OK, let's just put that up here. 
the time taken then for the lorry to move from A to the midpoint of AB. Well, what we need to do is find out what the acceleration A is to be able to do this part. And so if I'm to choose an equation, I'm going to think about using V equals U plus AT. And so therefore, what we've got is that V, we know, is 34. So we've got 34 equals U, which we've just found out is 14. So we've got equals 14 plus A times t the time T of 10. So it's going to be 10A. And again, if we just rearrange this, let's just separate this out here. Now if we take 14 from both sides, we're left with 10A equaling 34 take away 14, which is 20. And dividing both sides now by 10 leaves us with A equals 20 divided by 10, which is 2. And the units would be 2 meters per second per second. So that's the acceleration. And all we need to do now is again build up our SUVAT based equation. Starting again, we've got S, U, V, A and T. And what do we know? Well, the displacement is now 120, halfway across the 240 metres then. And U, we know, is 14. V, we don't know anymore, OK, because we don't know the final velocity when it's halfway across. So we'll leave that out. A, the acceleration is constant wherever we are across AB. So we've just worked that out as being 2. And the time, well, that's what we want to find. So what equation links these variables together? Well, it's going to be S equals UT plus a half AT squared. And so with this, if we just substitute our values in, for S we've now got 120 equals U times T, so it's going to be 14T, and then plus a half times A, A was 2, and it's T squared again. The 2's cancel, let's just cancel them out, okay, giving us 1, and so we've got a quadratic equation here. So I need to rearrange this, subtract 120 from both sides so that we get it equaling 0. So we've just got here t squared plus the 14t and then if we subtract the 120 from both sides we get minus 120 equals 0. And this factorises a couple of brackets and it equals 0. And looking at this, we're going to have a t here and a t here to give us t squared. And for minus 120, that's going to be plus 20 times minus 6. Put plus 20 there and minus 6 there. 20 times minus 6 will be the minus 120. And I can see that we're going to get minus 6t plus 20t, which is the 14t. So each of these factors could equal 0. So if that's the case, we end up with t plus 20 equaling 0. So that would lead to t equaling minus 20. Or t minus 6 equals 0, leading to t equaling 6. Well, clearly, it has to be t equals 6 because time can't be negative. So we'll just put here, since t has to be greater than 0, it follows that t must equal 6. 6 seconds then, okay, for the time to go 120 metres.